Welcome back to All Hans on Deck. I'm Andy, and this is my wife, Kirsten. Roughly two years ago, we decided to set off on a grand adventure. We purchased a 50-foot sailboat, then watched as Hurricane Ian put our boat on her side, fixed that damage, splashed the boat, and took off for Horizons Unknown. We took a tour through Florida, explored the incredible southeast coast of the United States, then spent five months enjoying the beautiful Bahamas. We enjoyed fantastic towns in the Abacos, explored the wild nature of Eleuthera, and basked in the crystal clear waters of the Exumas. But all good trips must come to an end, and we exited the Bahamas before the hurricane season kicked off. After lots of deliberation, we decided to go back to a home port that we know and love, New Bern, North Carolina. After settling into life at the dock, we reached out and started to enjoy our wonderful surroundings. The first event was this fantastic Great Trent River Raft Race, where the local citizenry construct only the most finely tuned water-based race craft and then compete in front of fans on land and fans out on the water. Yeah, right? Yeah, there is. Look how slow you're Right? It looks like it's really hard. Yo, it's hot outside. Why are you sitting out here? It is officially summer in North Carolina. The heat index is supposed to be like 107 today and our ACs are struggling. Nicer outside the boat than inside the boat right now. We have two 6,000 BTU air conditioners inside of the boat. I think we probably showed you guys when we were installing them. We have the one in the aft cabin, the one in the salon, and they keep throwing the E4 air code, which for this manufacturer is supposed to mean uh, like reduced water flow, and that is the cooling water, the raw water. We have troubleshot everything in the manual. We even replaced uh, one of the 300 gallon per hour pumps with a 500 gallon per hour pump, hoping that Maybe that would solve the problem. I actually talked to tech support and they thought that might solve the problem. Nope, still throwing air codes. So today we are going to descale the raw water cooling system for our air conditioners. I don't know if we've ever told you guys before, this, actually this one back here, is where the water pump is for the air conditioner in the back. What is? descaling like what does that exactly mean these units they use the raw water and salt water to cool the air conditioner compressor and so if there's not enough water flow in there it can't keep that air compressor cold which means that it can't function it can't create cold air well because it's a raw water intake that means that all those barnacles all the sludge like right now we're in brackish water all the silt all that sort of stuff even with a strainer, it gets into the system and it can restrict the water flow. It is routine maintenance you're supposed to do. Um, you know, some manufacturers recommend as often as six months, some say about a, once a year. We've been in the water for about two years now and we haven't done this at all. The parts list is pretty simple, starting with this is the scaler. We're just using the West Marine brand, it's cheaper. The brand name is a Barnacle Buster. It's basically diluted phosphoric acid. So this can help clean and eat away the stuff that's inside the lines. This is what we are going to be putting through the raw water system. Five gallon buckets. We've got a new one from Lowe's. Gonna need a pump. It can be a submersible pump, like a sump pump from a house, a bilge pump that's fully submersible, or a transfer pump. These are pretty cheap. Uh, this rating is about 25 bucks here in the States. Some alligator clips because what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna like hardwire this just straight to the battery or more uh, specifically to the bus bars, the positive and negative bus bar. Hose adapter. The pump is half inch, but the uh, all of the plumbing is 5 eighths. So just a little adapter to get from the half inch down to the 5 eighths, up to the 5 eighths. The hose. This is the cheapest stuff you can find. Um, it's not going to be a permanent application. Oh, we have knickknacks too, like uh, hose clamps and stuff. But so what we're going to do is we are going to disassemble the raw water intake system in two spots. We are going to take the um, discharge from the circulating pump. We're going to take that off. Close the through hole first, all that sort of stuff. <clears throat> then we're going to take uh, the line off of 
the barb that is the discharge through hole. So we'll have the beginning and the end of the system disconnected and we're gonna connect this to it. And so this, this is gonna sit in the bucket, which is gonna have our solution. We're gonna sit in there. And connected to this is going to be this hose. This hose is gonna be connected to the intake of the air conditioner. And then the other part of this hose is gonna be connected to the discharge, which we're gonna put back in the bucket. So it's just gonna create a loop where it just goes around itself. Some people do this for 30 minutes, some people do it for hours. We're having a problem. I wanna make sure we get it good. And because we've never done this before in the boat, you know, two years in, I'm gonna probably let it run for at least an hour, maybe two. So the bucket's gonna go from here. The pump is gonna sit in that bucket and our terminals are over there. So we need to whip up a cord that goes from here over to there. That's definitely plenty. That one's plenty. Kirsten just came down the stairs. Maybe she's... Maybe she'll wanna come say hi to the camera. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not, you know. What do you think? You guys want her to come say hi? <laughs> I have my own project going on. We are cutting out some insulation stuff so we can stick in the windows to keep the sun and the heat out. Sixteen. I think that's the same as this. Look very close. Blue butt connectors. Remember back in like an early video where I used a <clears throat> wing nut for a second, hot minute. Everyone rightfully kind of got on to me about that. That was fun. Okay. okay. Characters are done. Two Hans operating in a, in a small space. Oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> so now what I'm gonna do is literally just Put this pump in the bucket and I'm gonna like hold the wire over there and cut it. One done. Back over here, we got the discharge through hole. So we're gonna take off, we're gonna close the through hole. We're going to take off the hose clamps. Um, and then uh, we're gonna kind of measure the run for this hose from like over in this area out to the hallway. First up, knocking out this through hall. Discharge line. Okay, so the discharge line is easily back to the bucket. So, my apologies, I thought the camera was running. It was not uh, turned off the through hole, and uh, I've disconnected the intake line. There's some water running out of it right now, but that makes sense because there's water in the system. So, it's just kind of the backflow. It's fine, it'll go down into the bilge, no problem. Now, we just need to connect, whip up this other side. Connection is the pump itself. Should we just hose? Oh, yeah. Hose clamp. Okay, hose clamp. Pump connection. You are good to go. You are supposed to run fresh water first because. You want to preemptively get out all of the raw water that was in there. Um, no idea exactly how big of a difference the quality is, but I switched over to the GoPro for a second. The, the big camera, Ooh, she's getting overheated. We mentioned it's hot right now. We have multiple weeks of 90 plus with heat indexes well above 100, all that Fahrenheit, obviously not Celsius. Uh, 
And um, so yeah, it's warm. I would, I would think about spraying Curse with the hose, but she's got a book. And that would be like capital punishment on this boat. That'd be the end. So I think the game plan is we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and then we'll go get the stuff and we'll pour it in like after it's already circulating. I think that's probably a good plan, so. Okay. Okay. Good flow, that's good. Now for the buster. back onto the main camera. <laughs> Set it down in front of the fan, let it cool down. We have the uh, solution going. I think we're gonna let it run for two hours. It's basically two o'clock right now, so we're gonna let it run until about four o'clock, and hopefully it clears a lot of stuff out. You could already see like some little bits of stuff coming through, so hopefully that just kind of picks up as we go, and maybe this will be a good solution to what we're trying to accomplish. A few moments later. It has been two hours. So we're gonna get ready to turn off the uh, transfer pump. What we're gonna do though is we're gonna leave the discharge extension on into a five gallon bucket. We're gonna bring down the other five gallon bucket. We're gonna reconnect the intake side and then we're gonna turn on the unit and the manual says that the five gallon bucket should fill up in 120 seconds or less at the appropriate water flow. So we're gonna test that. Oh yeah, you can turn the breaker on. Turn it on. Okay. So we did the test one time already, but I wasn't exactly sure when to start the counting because there was like a little bit of water when it first came on. So it was like going slower, but then, uh, when the compressor kicked on, like it picked up pace, which I guess makes sense. And so, I'm just gonna dump that water and we're gonna try it again. I think we're gonna get there. That test was a success. It filled up that bucket within 120 seconds. Sorry, I sped it up. So not quite real time on the video. I didn't think you wanted two minutes of just watching a bucket fill. But after that test was successful, we put together the air conditioner back. The camera died, so sorry I didn't catch that on film, but we remade the connections at the circulating pump. We made, remade the connections to the discharge, and you can probably hear right now, and that's on purpose. Normally I'd make it quieter, so that way the audio is better, but check it out. It feels so good. Oh, I changed shirts, got super sweaty. It feels so good, the air is blowing nice and cool. We finally have the cool boat again on the hard, and this, I'm sure, has been just what is the first of several boat projects that we do while we're here at the dock. So thanks for watching. Not quite a how-to video, not like really a vlog video, somewhere in between. Hope you found it helpful. If you're having problems with the uh, water flow or the HPF air or the E4 air, depending on your brand, this is how we took care of that problem. Maybe it'll work for you too. We'll see you in the next one. It's all done. Well, the stainless steel part of the track is all riveted up there. That was like one of those like really satisfying jobs. <laughs>